Riled Kitty. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Riled Kitty. And today we are going to be playing The Silent Age. <laughs> I was about to say Resident Evil 4, but we're already Still done Still got with RE4 that. on the mind, huh? Yeah. We just did a review not too long ago. So. Nice. I don't blame you. It was a good game. was. If you haven't watched that series, go watch it. Maybe yeah. we'll link it above. <laughs> and if you haven't watched parts one, two, three, four, and four, yeah, go check, check this out before you watch this one. Because we don't want you to miss anything. And yeah, there are I agree. some parts that Hank hey, Baby would probably want you to watch because he worked so hard and he would not want you to miss it. <laughs> well, yeah, with that said, we're getting started with chapter five. So yesterday we got into the hospital. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're in a hospital now. I see an eye chart and some lungs. <laughs> That looks like a hospital to me. Um, it's Monday, May seventeenth, apparently. And we're in room A. Oh yeah, you're right. Apparently. Um. All right. This is chapter five. It's called the corpse, which is a little disturbing. Now inside the hospital, yeah. Joe hopes to find the time traveler and hopefully learn more. All right. Here we go. Turn the volume up a little bit. And all the way down. All right. Hospital's not looking so good. Yeah. <laughs> Should we go in the garage? It's in there before we jump back and forth through time. There's no power. Ambulance. Ambulance isn't looking good either. Ooh. I guess I can sit there making engine noises with my mouth while imagining I'm going somewhere really fast. Ooh, here's a corpse. Is this the corpse? It's the remains of the ambulance driver or mechanic. It's impossible to tell, really. Poor guy. What's the garage door say? Then we'll jump back to the present. It's electrical, and electricity is long gone. All right, let's let's uh let's jump back and see what's going on in here. There's a battery. Let me grab that. If I can. Ouch! Ouch! There's still juice in this. It shocked him. <laughs> All right, anything else to look at? There's a tire. Pick it up. Tank sounds full. I just need to reattach the wheel before the mechanic comes. Oh, I need to, like, drive this car away? Looks like someone's changing the tire. If I can just find some tools to finish the job, this ambulance could prove useful. Can I open the garage? I can. The garage door is open. Ooh. Fancy. Is there anything else in here? Is it going to be open in the future, then? It might be. Let me... Can I walk out? Won't get far on foot. Okay, let's let's jump back and see. Nope, it's closed. I swore when we were in that apartment we could like open a door and we jump to the future and it would be open there too. But maybe I'm wrong. So I wonder too. I was gonna look if. No, I'm I'm positive that battery has nothing to do with this room. All right, let's keep going, RK. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's some. There's tire iron. That's definitely going to be yeah, could work. Helpful for the tire. <laughs> Sturdy tire iron. This one's locked. Dang. All right, can I get into A and? Oh yeah. Here's the lung room. This looks familiar. Vision mm -hmm. test. E another E E E E. It's an E. They should really mix up the letters. <laughs> lamp. It's just a regular lamp. Calendar. It's today's date. Drawers are stuck, but I can't imagine what I'd need in there anyways. Lung chart. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can I get in here? Bingo. These are patient files, and of course the cabinet's locked. All right, jumping back. Ooh, this room doesn't look so good. Yeah. I won't have many hours before nightfall. Good. I'll probably be a lot easier to get around town. All right, anything else in here I want to check? Ah, <coughs> oh, man, that's dusty. Lamp. The lamp. Oh, notes. What are these? It's full of medical mumbo jumbo and words like hematology, growth rate, pandemic, and notes that say, I took your stapler. Now we're even, Dr. Phelps.
All right, let's check over here. Okay. Room B. It's locked. See why? It, I swore that door opened it. Maybe in the present and then was open in the future. I don't know. All right, let's go back and check out that tire. Okay. Now that I got the tire iron. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I do this. Tire iron with tire? <laughs> there, fixed it. Can I use the ambulance now? I have that car battery, too. I just need the time traveler's address? Oh, no. So that's probably in the patient files, I would guess, right? I guess. All right, what am I missing? So I have this battery. I, th I was sort of thinking I had to put that battery in the uh, in the car. Oh. All right, am I missing anything in here? I mean, that's a good idea, but like cars need batteries. Yeah, to start them. They do? <laughs> well, you learn something new every day, because I somehow did not know that. It's cleared up. It will get dark in a few hours. Um, unless it's an electric car, then it needs batteries to run, too, or instead of gas. Mm. Alright, let's go back in here. So is there like something I can grab? Gaping hole in floor. What if there's something I can find, like a key or something? Oh, I can go down in the hole? Oh my gosh. What? Scissors. I need those for something. Is that the corpse? <laughs> Dude, it kind of looks like it. They're still remarkably sh sharp. All right. This is a spotlight. It's a spotlight. Turn it on. All right. Let's check out this corpse. Skeleton. Nothing but a pile of bones and strips of clothing. All right, let's jump back to the past. Oh, there's a time traveler. He's dead. Oh, no. Well, we knew he was dead, so no big deal. Name tag? Hmm. Reginald Lambert. No address. They probably don't put stuff like that on these tags, I guess. It has a file number, too. If I can find this guy's medical file, I should be able to get his address. So he's the corpse. There he is. He's well, dead. It was a long shot, but I kind of hoped he'd had somehow survived. There's only one way to get answers now. I need to find out where he lives. Well, lived. All right, glass cabinet. I mean, he still lives there, technically. <laughs> These shelves are full of jars with weird things in them. It looks like a little snake up there, doesn't it? Ooh. So, new plan... Use the batteries on him, and they'll charge him up, and he'll come tell you. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Yeah, they'll charge him up. I like it. It's a great idea, okay? I know, right? <laughs> well, this could be... This uh, this looks like what I need this battery for. It's a little obvious. Is there a key inside here, maybe? Wow. Oh, there's a key right there. Small key. I don't know why I did that. Maybe you couldn't see the key without it. I guess. It's a key. A little small to be a door key. Maybe it's for a padlock. Okay, so that's probably for the patient files. Um. All right, anything else? Human remains. It's so freaky. One minute he's alive, the next he's a pile of bones. All right, let's jump back to the... Oh my gosh, there's a guy right there. Ugh. He seems very focused. Better not disturb him. X-ray board. Desk drawer. There's a key in there too? Oh my gosh. It's a car key. Oh hey. I'm happy I tried that drawer. I wasn't even gonna like look at it. Well, that's I what I thought I was need. pretty much ready to go. Like I thought I had everything I needed. Alright, let's no, see. No, you if, need the keys. Let's see if this opens the locker or the medical files. Hey, I'm in. Perfect fit. It's open. These are patient files, all right? Too bad they all have file numbers and not names. I need the right number to find his file. Didn't I get his? Didn't I get his number from his tag? I don't know. Go peek. 
guess I have to go back. I swore it that he read the number, name tag. Well, read the number. Huh. It has a file number. If I can find this guy's medical file, I should be able to get his address. Oh, I have to cut off, cut it off. There we go. Four nine one zero two. I passed my eye test. Oh, I see. I see. I guess I needed it to, uh, couldn't remember the number. <laughs> that guy's so focused, he can't even hear you. Yeah. Alright. Let's use the toe tag with the cabinet. Nice. Alright, I got it. Jackpot, Lambert's medical file. It has an address on it. One Insula Grove. That's pretty far out of town. I'll need a ride. Hmm. Where could I find a ride? I wonder. <laughs> it's a mystery. It is a mystery. I want to. I kind of want to drive this version of the ambulance. It looks more like it'd be more fun. I know. All right. Key with the car. And I think we're doing chapter five, RK. Really? It's my hunch. See, he's gonna say chapter six. So I'm driving. Here. Out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that <clears throat> it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? Probably, Joe. What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Maybe these will be my last days, along with everybody else's. Ugh, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? God, I hope I brought enough gas. There he goes. I think that was the end of the first part when it was like a mobile game. And then the second part you had to buy. It was a oh. long, long cutscene. All right, sorry, chapter six. So we're wrapping it up, RK. Chapter okay. five is done. Now we're on the island. So, hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Leave us a comment. Oh, yeah. Share it with a friend. Oh, yeah. Consider subscribing. Oh, yeah. And most importantly, come back soon for chapter six. Oh, yeah. We'll be hosting that real soon. Oh, yeah. I'm Hag Baby. I'm Riled Kitty. You're watching. Riled Kitty. And have an amazing day. Come back soon for something new. Bye. Bye.